Hello, hello, hello. What's up, guys? I welcome you to ifactioner.com computer networking tutorial series. And today we are going to discuss about OSI model. This is the part one of OSI model tutorial. And this is tutorial number 17 in computer networking tutorial series by ifactioner.com. So guys, what does OSI model means? OSI stands for Open Systems Interconnection. Open Systems Interconnections. So, uh, a little history about OSI model. Back in 1970s, there were different manufacturers of computers and uh, computer networking, and they all were using their own protocols to communicate between two devices. But the problem was that if a system was developed by IBM, then it could not communicate with the system developed by Macintosh because there were no standard protocols available and there were no standards available to communicate between different computers by different manufacturers. So all the manufacturers decided to develop a common set of standards for communication. So they came up with the idea of OSI. OSI stands for Open Systems Interconnection and OSI model is a conceptual model. So it's not a physical model, uh, but it's a conceptual model which explains how two computers or two or more devices or two or more nodes on a computer network communicate with each other and how does a communication system works. So this conceptual model divides the, the similar communication functions into seven logical layers. And now we will discuss about those logical layers. So as I have told you that OSA model has seven logical layers and those layers are number one or you can say it's number seven. I will tell you why do I say it number seven because they define it this way. Number one is the application layer and this layer directly communicates with the user via the different applications. For example, your internet browser, Microsoft Word, or different applications which you use to communicate are the examples of the applications. And these applications, they communicate with the application layer. And application layer, under the application layer, we have got an other layer, which is called presentation layer. The work, the main purpose of the presentation layer is to convert the data from machine readable format into the human readable format or application readable format. That is why it is called the application presentation layer. And under the presentation layer, we have got a layer called session layer. The main purpose of the session layer is to establish a 
secure connection or to establish or establish maintain and terminate the connection between two nodes on the network and we will be discussing about these layers in detail in the next section and uh, under the session layer we have got an other layer which facilitates the session layer and that layer is called the transport layer and the main purpose of transport layer is to reliably sending of data packets between nodes so its main purpose is to send the data packets between two nodes so it converts the data into packets and its main purpose is to send them reliably to the other node and uh, under the transport layer we have got a layer called network layer i would like to tell you one thing uh, friends that tcp the transmission control protocol works roughly on transport layer and the ip protocol works roughly on network layer and the main purpose of network layer is to provide means of transferring valuable lengths of or valuable length of data which is called datagrams so it provide means to transfer the data and under the network layer we have got data link layer and as the name suggest the main purpose of data link layer is to provide reliable link between two nodes in the network and on the bottom we have got physical layer which deals in bits the it, it is it deals with the electrical and physical specifications of the data connection so we have got physical layer at the bottom or uh, uh, on number 1 we have got physical layer then we have got data link layer then we have got network layer then we have got transport layer on top of transport layer we have got session layer on top of session layer we have got presentation layer and on the top we have got application layer which communicates with our applications and we interactly so application layer is communicating with us and presentation layer is communicating with the application layer session layer is uh communicating uh with presentation layer and so on uh so how do we remember which layer comes uh, uh on the top and which layer comes on the bottom so there is a very easy way to remember it and uh that is to remember a sentence for example we can say that all people should take should take new daily pill or you can make your own sentence to remember it so a stands for application layer P stands for presentation layer. S stands for session layer. And this is the most easy way, easiest way to remember it. T stands for yeah, transport layer. N stands for network layer. 
D stands for data link layer and P stands for physical layer. So this is uh, uh, an easy way to remember which layer comes first on number three again, number three, number four, number five, number six, and number seven. So friends, thank you very much for joining me for this introductory tutorial on OSI model. And we will be continuing our discussion on OSI model on in our next tutorial. If you would like to know more about networking or OSI model, then please visit ifactioner.com. Take care. Bye-bye.